morning, people, and welcome to the vlog. Um, I figured I would do this today so we have some memes. Also, the giraffe is perfectly in frame back here. Nice. We should name him. Brand new. Brandon. Brand, brand. Brandon the giraffe. Brand new. Okay. <laughs> Um, Leah and Jaden are visiting today. Particularly Leah is right next to me. Can you say hello? <laughs> Hi! She hasn't been on camera in a few months. It's been a while. They've been here since um, Saturday morning and today it is Monday. And so it's their last full day and I figured that we would just take a little vlog. And um, we're also going to Malala for breakfast. We're going to the Hitchin Post Cafe. <gasps> And we always go there, Finley and I do together, so I wanted to take them. Best breakfast ever, if you're ever in Malala. I don't know why you would be, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting on Jaden, and then we're gonna hit the road, and we're gonna have a great, fun day, and you guys are gonna be here for it. <laughs> Finley's here too, he got back from LA yesterday. And he's the one who got me that giraffe. Oh yeah, from a really nice artist. I can't... What was her name? It's yeah, on the back. Brand. It's by the artist. Christina Hillo. Hillo. Very nice watercolor and pen. Very adorable. And you can see on the back here, this is the original by the way, not a print. So we like it. Well, we would have loved it either way if it was just a print. <laughs> and it has this like scribble. She was testing her pen out and also her signature and her name. Anyways, good morning. And I'm in my matching yellow and green today. Good stuff. Oh, there's somebody who wants to say hi to the vlog, I think. Hi, Jaden. Hi. <laughs> I miss you so much and I'm so happy you're here. I'm sure that the vlog is very happy to see you guys here too. Oh, that's a good brushing. <laughs> she said, brush up, brush up, brush up. Do the new white pen. Do you remember that? We watched Grease the other night and it was the best moment of my life. Hey guys, we're leaving Hitch and Post Cafe. Would you say that it was a good special treat? Yeah. And you liked it? Yeah. They said, we were looking at like the total when we were leaving and Jaden said, is that it? or did, did that cover it? Because in LA, everything is so much more expensive, right? Yeah. It is craziness, like brunch with five, well, I guess there's four of us. Brunch with four people would be like $70, but here it was like 45 or something. Anyways, we're going to Silverton today, back to Silverton, because we, they've never been, and we really like that place, and we think that they would have a good time. So that's where we're gonna take them right now because it's like 20 minutes from Malala. Is it Monday again? Okay, I will. Uh, yeah, no, it is Monday. Darn it. <laughs> Why? It's been like so many other stores were closed still. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> You've been doing a wonderful job so far. You just have something, you have to find something to grab onto. I can't read it. Yes, you can. You've been doing it this whole time. And now that the camera's on, you said, I can't do it. There you go. You got the, you got the handle. Okay. It's worse when she tries to get into the front seat. That's very true. Rock stars. What do you think his name is? He almost looks like Santa Claus. He is huge. Perfect walking stick. <laughs> that is a silly mug. Oh, it's a whistle too. Guys, this bike is everything. I want it. It's so neato. This is a cute little store. What is it? They're potato cleaners, so you can scrub your potato dirt off. Bud dude. Interesting. <laughs> this place is like a toy and gift shop. And then there's also this chocolate it's a shop. Look at these. Toffee pig, Ooh, milk puppy, dark kitty. Yeah, they're selling them. How do you get them? 
I think we might have to ask the lady to come over. What are you getting, Bear? I these earrings. Very beautiful, very yellow. We're getting this for the plane ride back. Let's it's perfect. Leah got a little toffee pig. I like your little gift wrap chocolate. It's good, yummy. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of a rock exchange? It's where you you take one, you leave one, kind of like those takeaway book places. There's a little baby one. This one says, <laughs> Happy Father's Day, I love you, Dad. Every day around the clock, always remember that you are my rock. What? That's cute. This one says, It's right. <laughs> That's not saying anything. See, what is, this one's cute. What does it say? This just says, Oh, eat. look, a little watermelon. We could take one and hide it. Yeah, take your favorite. This one? Sure. Let's take this one. And then! I've read all of these, and then I've also read, let's see. I belong to the desert. I bought this book called Women's Libation, and it's cocktails to celebrate a woman's right to booze. <laughs> but it has all of these, <laughs> basically to drink. But it has all of these like mixology recipes for um, alcohol drinks, but then it has bios of women like feminist icons and what they contributed to the world. Wait, just show your face once and say, hello. Hello. Mm-hmm. Three, two, now, now you have to do it for that. No. There's this couple playing some sweet music in the park over here. They sound very good. There's some screaming kids. <laughs> Hi, camera! I'm trying to do it without my hand. I'm very bad at jumping on the swing. You're going really high, you could do a backflip over the bar. No. Do it. You won't do it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. We're having a little ice cream date, huh? Okay. You got some mango sorbet? Uh huh. Do you like it? It's good. <laughs> I'm done with mine. What did you get? Cookie dough and chocolate. I got an espresso shake. And Finley didn't get anything, but he's reading. This is a different place. So this is the Stamen and Pistol Boutique Nursery. It's very cute and it's in like this little glass place. Photo bomb. Photo bomb. Video bomb. <laughs> you are a very stunning good boy. Wow. We just got home and I'm harvesting a little bit of our calendula. I already have lots of them drying. Oh, there's a little spider in here. Um, I'll have to wash that off. I have lots of them drying in the kitchen right now, but we planted how many calendula plants? I think we have about 10 or 12 of them. One of them is like not doing very well, but I still have high hopes that it'll maybe come back to life. But yeah, I have this one as well as this one that need to dry and then just a few more. But whenever I pick them off, there's always like these little black bugs that are like really itchy that are on my arms. I don't like that. This one was a good one. Larry's being my garden helper while Jaden is visiting the pigs. Hi. You're the best boy in town. You know that? Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I got to harvest today. Woohoo! But yeah, I'll show you what's drying already in there. They're doing kind of good. So these ones up here are the six that have been drying for a while. Well, seven. And um, then I just added these six in. This is some mint that I just decided to harvest and dry because it was like a weed in the yard and I just took it out. Also, look at the cute card that the girls brought me. Just adorable. <laughs> That's me. How are you? We are making snickerdoodles today because we're out of cookies. I made butterscotch caramel cookies and we 
ate all of them. So we're gonna make some more cookies today and we hope that they go over well. Back to you, Leah. Okay, so we are going to be using butter, flour, baking soda, vanilla extract, sugar, salt, cinnamon, cream of tartar. So yeah, we already made, Lindsay and I made this and then, before. So they just put in their two eggs and now they're going to be using a, a cup, cup of butter. But we are three tablespoons of butter short, so we're gonna put coconut oil in instead. Did you ever know that this beauty was in your backyard? Mm-hmm, quartz. Oh, There's some really pretty rocks around our property. We're putting in one cup of sugar. I will link the recipe down below, slash I'll also link the, the video where Lindsay and I made these on my channel. And a half cup sugar. Megan, is this good? That is perfect, Jades. Now we're just creaming together the eggs, the sugar, and the butter in oil. And we need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Jaden is currently mixing those dry ingredients, right? Yes. Okay. So I think they're gonna add a little bit more salt into that, though. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And there's the Mr. Larry. There, can I say hi? Okay guys, so yesterday I was just walking and then I for some reason decided to sit on this cactus. You didn't do it on purpose, silly. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. I just, I was about to sit here like that. After that happened, yeah. Megan was sewing right here. I decided to put my face, well I didn't decide to, but I smacked my face on this iron chair. It hurts. Okay guys. So here's the dough, and Megan just rolled them in a ball, and then you have to dip them in cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, coat the entire ball yeah. in the sugar. Yeah, and then sugar. you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet, and the first batch is actually in the oven. They're almost done. Right now, they actually look really good. And they're gonna be done in like two minutes, and, and you bake them at yeah. 350 degrees for nine minutes, okay? And the, and the coconut oil looks like it's working really well. Yeah, it should work really well. Hope so. If you're wondering who's <coughs> choking me, it's Marley, my new best friend. Um, Marley the monkey. Wait, I can't see her. These are perfect. We and have... here are the perfect sticker doodle cookies. They just came out of the oven and they smell great. Don't they look good? They look amazing. Right, Megan? Oh yeah. I think oh, yeah. Jaden and I nailed it. And yeah. my film crew even nailed it better. Oh yeah, AKA me. And there's Larry, <laughs> who is barking. But there's Marley. She's my new best friend. We'll see you when the second batch of cookies is done. The cookies have all been made. They look amazing. I just need them to cool a little bit more and then we'll put them in the cookie jar. Larry's very upset he can't have any. It's okay, buddy. Yeah, you're just a dog. The recipe makes three dozen. Go back to the times and I'll be here to see you. We filled up the whole, almost the whole entire cookie jar. There's just a couple of inches left. Ooh, See? Great, can I have one then? Yeah. It's all yours. I'm glad they're enjoying um, our trampoline because we don't go on it every day, but they have gone on it every day since they got here. And Leah's ankle is a little hurt, so Jaden just bounces her. Oh, just sister things. But little updates here. I just did all of the dishes. This is literally from um, <laughs> just yesterday. <laughs> all of these dishes we use and it's getting absurd. I just realized how many dishes you go through when you have even just like a family of four. Like we've used so many, it's absolutely ridiculous. Also, Leah just picked my snap peas from my garden because I was letting them kind of fill out a little bit, but these like were the biggest ones. So she left all of the small ones and brought in all of the big ones. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we've eaten like three of them. So I had about nine peas as a yield so far. Incredible. I'm really excited about these guys. Ah, uh, hello, stinky boy. <laughs> How was studying? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the pizza show where we make pizza for 15 schmeckles. You're gonna need schmeckles. It's the newest form of currency. You haven't heard of it? Very popular. We need four cups of bread flour. I almost said bled flour. And it would be helpful if you used 
a standing mixer for this. Otherwise, it'll be really hard on your arms. You do need a large pan like this, like it's a pizza pan. So, here is the dough so far. Just the right ingredients. We're doing the kneading now. I'll link the recipe down below for the pizza dough we're making. It's from like Bobby Flay or something. It's sort of like Hala, except a little different, and it takes less long. Hala, I usually make completely by myself, though. Nice. And then we just put it in this bowl that was greased and put plastic wrap over it, and it's going to sit here until 8.03. <laughs> so in a warm place. Perfect. Leah and I are having, as a before-dinner snack, a little kiwanu? Kiwana? Let's try it. Let's dig in. <laughs> doesn't really taste like anything. Huh. It tastes like a papaya, but like really bland. I told you, it doesn't have any taste. It looks like a passion fruit, but it doesn't taste like a... It literally looks like slime with seeds in it. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It tastes like a really unripe banana. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. And kind of like a hint of papaya. You guys should try this. I'm gonna keep the show. It's Just cool. for fun. I mean, what if it rots? Then I'm gonna throw it away. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the dough of the pizza with some red sauce and some mozzarella cheese. So, and then you can put whatever toppings you want on this. And then we're going to make another one like this, but it's not going to have cheese for the folks that don't eat dairy. See ya when we're eating the pizza. Here's the final pizza. I'm going to give you two pieces each on it. Looks there. really good. Okay. It smells really good, right, Megan? Oh, yeah, it looks really good. Like, uh, one for Miss Jadaroo, two for Miss Jadaroo. Yay! We made one cheese pizza, as you saw, and we have one slice left of that, and then we're making a vegan pizza of cauliflower, field roast Italian sausage, and broccoli, and it looks awesome. We also have some marinara under there. And the crust recipe is completely vegan, very good stuff, yum yum. How are you? Tired. You're getting tired. Do you have um, a favorite thing that we did or a favorite memory from visiting? Um, if you had to pick one. But I can't. Hmm. But if you did have to pick, what was the most fun thing that you liked about Oregon? How about that? Um, well, one of the most fun parts was arriving and seeing you. And then another one was cooking today and yeah. meeting the pigs. That sounds good. And then I don't think there was anything I didn't like. Except for sitting in a cactus and... Um, smacking my face on an iron chair. <laughs> Other than that, I had a fun time. That's good news. Do you have favorite things that you liked about visiting? I liked making pizza and schnitzel and cookies and playing with Larry and the pigs. I like that stuff too. And I liked going to Silverton today. Yeah, that was also fun. And I liked playing with the trampoline. <laughs> And I like playing fetch with Larry. I love Marley. I like spending time with you. This is Marley, my new best friend. <laughs> that sounds good, Jades. Thank you. Yay. Marley. Marley, we're best friends. Yeah, they really like each other and she loves to wear her around. <laughs> Comment on this video if you saw the vlogmas where Lindsay gave me this in like 2013 because I'm pretty sure it was happening. I think that was the first year of vlogmas ever. Cutie pies. Okay, I think we need to hit the hay, huh? It's time to go to bed so we can wake up early. Ow. Ow, this is their last night here and they're fighting over blankets yet again as they have been every night. You guys are cutie patooties. Well, I'm hoping that I still have blankets in my sleep. <laughs> you're not even sleeping yet and you're still one. Are you as snug as a bug in a rug? Are you as snug as a bug in a rug? Can yes. you just say, are you bundled up in a taco? No, as snug as a bug in a rug is from a children's book. Okay. Well, You've sure. never read it. Well, sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much for visiting. You guys are cuties, and I'm going to end the vlog off when I go upstairs. I wanted to say okay. bye to you guys. Good night. <laughs> okay, guys, it's about 11 now, and Finley is asleep next to me, so I'm going to be really quiet. But, um,. I had such a lovely time having the girls stay with us and I wanted to just film their last day with us for memories and for you guys to see. Um, they're doing great, you know, just adorable. And if you don't know who the girls are in this video that you just saw, I've basically been, you know, their nanny slash part of their family truly for like 10 years plus because 
yeah, no, 11 years. And their parents decided to send them on an airplane alone for the first time to visit me in Oregon. So exciting, it was so nice. And I was so, so happy to have them here. We had a really great time with them and did a lot of cooking and baking today. So I hope you liked all those recipes and just to see the girls being super cute and grown up. And um, yeah, if you guys like this, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Please ring the notifications bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Until the next upload, stay smiling. Bye guys. And it all falls down.